it's a it's a sunny day here in Dublin beautiful day but uh, I'm freezing uh, partly that's old age but partly there's a really cold wind anyhow sorry for this wobbling anyhow I was in the flat about half an hour ago and just listening to the radio, sort of an afternoon talk show, uh, which usually features politics and all of that. And this lady came on, or rather this lady phoned in, and it turned out she was a senator. I think her name was Eileen Flynn. Her name was Flynn, I think Eileen Flynn a senator in the Irish Parliament and she was uh, an itinerant a traveller whatever name you like to call it and she explained that she had taken a taxi I think it was last night and uh, she got to her destination which I gather was a you know a halting site or a you know, a caravan park or something like that. She got there anyhow and the taxi driver would not drive into the place. He wanted to drop her off just outside or just before he got to it. And anyhow, she ended up, she wouldn't pay him unless he dropped her at her door. And uh, she ended up calling the police and they basically told her, well, there's nothing we can do about it, really. But here's the point. She was, of course, talking about racism. She started talking, and the first thing that struck me, and I'm sure it struck you, was that she didn't sound like a human being. She sounded like an avatar. Uh, Whatever personality she might have had didn't exist anymore and her language was all diversity, hate speech, inclusion. I, uh, I don't know what the situation is, let's say, in England, but here in Ireland there seems to be a mania for, let's say, working class people to go back to school and to get a, I don't know, a a PhD or something, usually, usually related to social justice. And, you know, you get working class people, let's say, who are intelligent people, interesting people, and generally speaking, working class people are, you have a much more intelligent conversation with a working class person, and working class people also, they tend to have their own personalities rather than an affected personality. So, on balance, I find them much more interesting to talk, to talk to. But as I say, you've got this phenomenon whereby working class people, and this is particularly true of women, they'll go back to college, they'll get one of these social justice degrees or something like that. And then, from then, then on, they're, as I say, they're like an avatar. They're not speaking in their own voice. It's just this endless stream of diversity. All that sort of stuff. But anyhow, she was talking like that and... You know, what a... What's the name for now? But, uh, yeah, she, she didn't sound like human. Well, she didn't sound human as in the way it would have been a few years ago. She just sounded like this groaning, you know, this babble of words, meaningless words. But uh, now, and it was all that hate, hate and she was talking about, she was obviously happy that we would soon have our hate speech laws and now of course the truth of the matter is that this taxi driver probably decided he didn't want to go in because these places can be very rough. And 
even if nothing serious happens to you, or even if your cars are not damaged. They can be quite intimidating, these places. And uh, now I've known plenty of travellers. When I was a market trader, I met lots and lots. Very nice people. But, uh, you know, you go up the halting side, they can be quite intimidating. So, but, uh, yes, it seems everything, everything now is to do with hate. Everything has to do with racism or discrimination. You know, human interaction, normal human interaction, simply, it seems that that can't exist anymore. Everything has to be seen through the prism of diversity. And, uh, and it seems we will, we will have our hate speech laws very, very soon now. The Irish Parliament, I think a few days ago, they voted. They voted on a draft of it or something and it was approved. So, and these hate speech laws, apparently, it seems ours are going to be really draconian, really extreme. And, you know, it won't be possible to say anything. There'd be zero possibility of any normal conversation about anything. But, uh, well, this is, I'm not expressing so very well or clearly as usual. But this is me just waffling on. I don't have anything to say really beyond that. If I lived in an exciting life, I'd be able to give you some exciting stories, but I don't live a, an exciting life. But yeah, this is on News Talk. Now, News Talk is a serious radio station. It, uh, it is now the number one, if you like, good quality radio station. And all day long, all day long, it's diversity. It doesn't matter what they're talking, it's sport, anything. It's just relentless, relentless. And, and in Ireland, you know, there is an inferiority complex in Ireland, a national inferiority, inferiority complex. And this drives Irish politicians to insist that we be more European than anyone else. You know, that we take in more immigrants than anyone else. There's this constant, our politicians constantly, they, they bend over backwards, they contort themselves just to, so they can present themselves as more inclusive, more tolerant, all of that. And it comes down to a, an inferiority complex. But uh, I'm muffling, I'm muffling, I'm muffling. But it really is going to be ter terrible. I was looking at some of the details of this hate speech legislation. You really won't be able to say anything. And, you know, the word fascism is thrown out very loosely, thrown around very loosely, loosely and that, but you know, we're not far from being an actual fascist society. It's, uh, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible what's happening in these, this country. And everyone's going along with it. Just about everyone. Yeah. Yes, we have a, of course, we have a travellers' rights organisation 
today in Ireland, and that's very radical, very left wing, very radical. And I don't, I know for a fact, I know for a fact that most normal itinerants despise them because these, uh, all of these itinerant rights people, they're all woke, and essentially what they want to do is they want to destroy itinerant culture because you know, it, itinerant culture here in Ireland and here, it's very politically in, incorrect. You know, they have traditional beliefs and family and all of that. So, uh, so these, there's quite a few of these itinerant rights spokespersons and they're all pathologically woke. And and the irony is, in the name of human rights, they're destroying all of the fundamental beliefs that most travellers have. 